This video highlights the background information and supporting documents that will guide the design of the course Workflows at Work, Creating and Improving Systems in GCISD for a Digital Age. As I shared in my innovation proposal, our working environment is changing rapidly with more pressure due to the remote work that we did in COVID-19. We already have some new systems in place that decrease the use of paper. I propose that we continue this work toward a paperless environment by digitizing paper processes and streamlining current digital processes. When I created Fink's three column table for this course, I also included a big, hairy, audacious goal as well as context for the learning. Learners will prepare for continued innovation within their roles as their work alongside machines perpetually changes. This will result in increased productivity as staff repurposes technology to improve systems and workflows. I hope to cultivate independent learners who demonstrate confidence in troubleshooting, are willing to seek new information and solutions, and lean on peers in a professional collective. The outcome is that learners will design and implement a structural change within their role, department, or across departments to improve workflows and systems within the GCISD administrative offices. It's important to me to consider my learners and my audience when I think about course design. This course is composed of adult learners who are administrative assistants or district administrators. Admin assistants have often professionally peaked and are content with their jobs. In contrast, a few admin assistants are new to the field and would like to move up. While at a high level in their career, administrators, on the other hand, are often looking to move to new positions inside or outside of the district, regardless of their role all learners desire mastery, autonomy, and purpose in their careers. The learners often have mixed feelings about technology. Most of the discomfort around technology stems from troubleshooting and the constant changes. There is also a range of prior knowledge. While most people come in with some knowledge of the applications they'll use, the range still varies. While people either love technology or tolerate it, I believe that all people want to be able to do their job successfully and with confidence. Therefore, they have personal learning goals and expectations that we should meet. One document that helps outline and detail this is the syllabus for the course that I'm creating. The course is going to be called Workflows That Work, Creating and Improving Systems in GCISD for a Digital Age. This course combines five blended learning sessions plus ongoing coaching throughout the year. Learners will work in groups, cross-departmentally, to analyze workflows and systems. They will also engage in discussions in each of the blended learning sessions. On top of that, they can use chat spaces when not in active learning sessions to ask questions and touch base with one another. Next, learners can create their own authentic learning projects by setting goals specifically to their environmental needs. Finally, Learners engage in active learning through discussion, blended learning environments, and one-on-one -on -one coaching provided by my team. One of the most essential tenets of the ADL program is CSLE plus COVA, or creating significant learning environments through choice, ownership, and voice through an authentic learning experience. I feel that the best way to implement my innovation plan is to model this course off of what we did in the ADL program. Learners will get to analyze systems and workflows in GCISD and working groups to improve something authentic to their position. And they'll have a choice and therefore ownership and therefore they can develop their voice through reflection and the implementation of their authentic plan. Because the learners will have an authentic learning opportunity and authentic learning activities, I consider this course to be outcomes based. Learners will experience a level of cognitive dissonance, in particular because most of them have not learned in this way before. In the past, training provided to these adult learners has been more traditional in nature. However, in this case, they will be expected to experiment, explore, make mistakes, fail forward, and so on. The outcome is meaningful structural and systemic change in how learners work, grow, and innovate alongside technology. Regarding assessment, my goal is to shift the locus of control to the learner. Key aspects of this course include peer support, evidence-based analysis, and the movement of the decision-making to the learner. In fact, there's really kind of a no grades at all 
approach to this course. The only actual assessment in assessment of learning is feed forward from peers. Because this isn't a traditional classroom, it's an adult learning setting in a real workplace, I will focus on supporting them and assessing them more informally, for example, through individualized and group coaching sessions, group discussions, and their final presentation. The course documents that will help with understanding include, first off, the syllabus. Once I had already created Fink's three-column table, I could start detailing the course for my students. You can see my syllabus, and it includes contact information, the course description that I've shared with you, the learning objectives, which I modified from the ISTE standards for educators, of course, the three-column table, course materials, and then finally, the course subject outline. In this detail, really, I drew this detail from the Understanding by Design template. So the Understanding by Design template, with this, I utilized backwards design based on the UBD template, specifically after I identified the big picture thinking that you can see toward the top of this document. The where to helped me ensure that activities were intentionally aligned with course outcomes. That is my goal to create independent adult learners who can continue to grow alongside technological changes. Finally, from there, I created my course outline. I started with the context, which is that I will be teaching Grapevine Colleyville ISD central office employees. They are adult learners and some of the learning environment will be face-to-face, -face, some will be blended, and some will be online. And then finally, we'll have access to Canvas, Google Suite, and then either a Mac or Dell laptop, plus a variety of other district applications. The course design, um, the course navigation bar will include a homepage, syllabus, modules, calendar, and discussion. And then each module will be a combination of discussions, pages, and activities that I will put in the learning order that suits my learners. I hope that you notice on the web page that this video is posted on that I included links to my proposal, aligning outcomes, assessments, and activities, three course documents that were the syllabus, the UBD three-page template, and the workflows that work course outline that we're looking at now, and then finally a few informational links that tell you more about CSLE plus COVA, outcomes-based education, and then assessment of for and as learning. Thank you very much, and I hope this was informative and helps you understand the course outcomes and course goals for workflows that work.